Hey, it's me, Bob Diddy Three, and welcome back to one of my random podcasts. We got three topics to talk about, so let's start with the first and biggest one. It is on my radar, Sonic Frontiers. Now I've been kind of keeping up with the game without, you know, looking at the spoilers or anything online. You know, just the uh, official trailers and maybe some other people reporting on it, but. Initially, when it first uh, showed gameplay, the reception was kind of bad at first, but then it got a bit more positive with gameplay, and so far I like what I see. I mean, I guess it's kind of the boost formula. It does have some element to it, but it does seem to be more fo- uh, more focused on the uh, combat. It's, I think it makes the game more interesting. Of course, there's some puzzles and the, uh, the uh, I guess, the uh, open zones aspect, being able to teleport to different locations, you know, different memories. Uh, right now, you're looking at uh, footage of Sonic Forces, since I want to avoid a, a copyright claim. I don't want to just show off uh, trailer footage or anybody else's gameplay footage. So, sorry if the image doesn't match the you know, the game I'm talking about. But even if the uh, reaction are more positive and seems like a lot of people, even uh, people in Japan where, you know, Sonic games is not really that popular, this seems to be like the most uh, hyped Sonic game for a while. But I'm still cautiously optimistic about this game, mainly because you know, uh, this isn't the uh, first time we got excited for a Sonic game and end up being disappointed, you know, upon its release. I mean, this game, people were kind of excited about it. They were like, oh, you know, at the very least, it's a boost game, and, you know, boost game will probably end up being good, but, you know, unfortunately, even though I don't think Sonic Forces is the worst Sonic game ever, it is pretty disappointing because it's so uh, mediocre and, you know, definitely doesn't live up to, you know, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Generations, or even Sonic Colors, at least in my opinion. So, I really hope this game, you know, I'm expecting it's going to be some bugs and glitches, especially on its initial release, but I do think it's it does look like a very fun game at the very least. Uh, this game is the reason why I got a Xbox Series X for it. That and to play uh, Sonic Unleashed at you know a good frame rate. I mean, I, I really love playing that game on that system. And even though it's coming from the Nintendo Switch, uh, the Switch version is usually the weakest. And you know, if I enjoy this game so much, maybe I get the uh, Switch version, you know, later on. But I'm glad Sonic Frontier is giving some hype, some excitement. Uh, people are really looking forward to it, including myself. But the big question is, can it live up to that hype? Next up is, let's talk a little bit about Kronoa, uh, the uh, remake that just came out around June. and. For those who are uh, subscribed to my channel, knows that I did a retrospective on Kronoa 1, both the uh, PlayStation and the uh, Nintendo Wii Remake, and the original PlayStation 2 version, uh, Kronoa 2 that is. And I really enjoy those games, I really glad this game is getting another chance on multiple platforms no less. I got both the Nintendo Switch and the Xbox version. And, you know, I'll play through both of them. Sorry if I, this is not a full review. Maybe I will in the future, but overall, they're, they're pretty great remakes. Uh, better than the Wii version. I mean, I don't dislike the Wii version like anybody else is. But I guess because, you know, this remake exists, uh, that this uh, remake exists now, that people are probably more comfortable with trashing the uh, Nintendo Wii version, which, 
you know, I understand, but it's still a pretty fine game on its own. It's just not compared to the original and uh, this version. I do really recommend getting uh, the remake, uh, especially if you can find it uh, discounts, you know, during Black Friday, either digital or physical. Uh, my only complaint about the game is the uh, rim boards when you play uh, in normal mode. Uh, it feels like it's not as accurate as it should be compared to the original uh, PlayStation counterpart. Uh, the Nintendo Wii version uh, increased the distance, which you can in this version, which is uh, an easier mode. But I feel like the main board makes it hard to grab some enemies and, you know, some items. Depending on certain location, it's not really a common thing. But I remember playing the, uh, the original... Uh, the uh, Kronor 1 remake version of this uh, game. And it's uh, where you get to the uh, castle, you need to grab the enemies that's, you know, hidden behind a window. They go up and down, so you gotta time it just right while you bouncing on the spring. Uh, and there's plenty of times where I said, man, i pretty sure I timed it just right, but nope. But other than that, this is a pretty good uh, remake we do recommend it and i hope that uh this encourages uh bandai neko to make uh an actual sequel and you know an official Kronor 3 that is maybe even uh re-release the uh game boy events games uh hopefully nintendo will have like a uh nintendo search online version of that uh sales wise i Heard that it had a pretty strong start, then it kind of gone quiet a little bit. Uh, it does seem like that, at least based on the uh, rankings and some of the sales numbers, that uh, Kronor, uh does a remake, uh, sold more than uh, possibly the highest selling Kronor game, which I believe is the original, which is about 300,000, uh, probably a little bit less than that. Uh, of course, this is uh, a game that came out on multiple platforms, so it's to be expected. But I, I don't know if uh, if it does sell million, then I think uh, Bandai Neko would have uh, bragged about it a little bit, so it's probably not even there yet. Uh, I kind of hoped, uh, since uh, there's not a physical copy that was officially released in America, that they can release a bundle pack that includes the um, Pac-Man World Remake and uh, this uh, Kronor game as a, a bundle. Kind of similar to how uh, Sega releases uh, Team Sonic Racing and Sonic Mania and uh, one uh, Nintendo Switch pro uh, disc. I'm not sure if that's available on any other console. But I hope uh, Bandai Namco can do the same with uh, Pac-Man and Kronor. I would definitely get that uh, that uh, physical disc if that's available. But here's hoping Kronor is getting a sequel in the near future and hopefully the sales uh, kind of reflects that. Uh, the last topic is about the uh, Super Mario Bros. movie. Uh, I saw the uh, fresh uh, teaser trailer for it, and it looks pretty great actually. Uh, Illumination, I actually like most of the movies, even, you know, the Spick and Me and the Minions, uh, seeing one and two, uh, The Secret Life of Pets, at least the first one, I haven't uh, seen the second one, I don't think. Uh, but, you know, it, Illumination, I think, I left uh, uh, that movie company in general, and I guess I'm a little surprised that uh, they got the rights to make the uh, Mario movie. But I do like how the movie's looking so far. Uh, Jack Black as Bowser is great. Uh, definitely the uh, best person for that job. If they want, you know, menacing and some um, comedic. Uh, 
personality as well. Uh, Chris Pat as Mario is okay so far. Uh, I do think he is trying to uh, do a Mario voice, um, more Bob Hoskins than Charles Martinet. At least, uh, I think that's what he's trying to go for. You know, have like a bit of a deeper and gruffer voice. And I guess with uh, famous celebrities like uh, Chris Pratt and even Jack Black, you know, even if they try to make their voice seem different from their normal voice, most likely you're going to hear, you know, part of their normal voice. Uh, even, especially if you're familiar with uh, the actor's Edelweck, you know, like Jack Black, uh, whenever he plays as Poe as uh, um, Kung Fu Panda, uh, you know, it's definitely here, you know, Jack Black's voice. The only thing he was trying to uh, do a different voice than that one, now I think about it, but this uh, Bowser, I definitely hear more Bowser than Jack Black, at least from the trailer that I just saw. And hopefully the uh, Chris Pratt voice, uh, hopefully the more we see, the uh, better it gets. And at, or at the very least, uh, people get more adjusted to it. You know, watching that trailer makes me wish that uh, the uh, next Sonic movie would be more animated, uh, not the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie 3. Uh, of course, that's going to be live action, and you know, I like the first two Sonic games, don't get me wrong, but uh, whenever, you know, a video game adaptation is uh, more animated, it's usually stick to its, uh, it usually sticks to the uh, roots of the game, while the uh, live action adaption takes uh, more creative liberties to uh, change some stuff. Uh, the only worry I have about this movie is that Illumination, at least uh, from what I can remember, has a bad record of adapting uh, properties that based on somebody else's work rather than stuff they create on their own. That the uh, the Dr. Seuss stuff, uh, the Lorax, that was a pretty bad adaptation. Uh, I'm sure that this movie is going to be a whole lot better, but still, uh, I, I think uh, they're going to have that usual illumination comedy. And well, if you don't like that, then uh, chances are this movie's probably not going to be for you, but then again, there's only one teaser trailer and it seems like they're taking this movie a bit more seriously compared to the uh, other illumination movie. Uh, so here's, you know, Here's for Mario to finally get a good movie. Uh, I haven't seen the live action Super Mario Brothers movie for a while. I remember watching that as a kid and well not really liking it. I didn't really hate it either. I just thought it was weird because it you know it wasn't Mario at its core, it's just some elements of Mario stuff. Uh, with some kind of random 90s movie, at least uh, from what I can remember. But I do have high hopes for the uh, Mario movie. So that's the end of this uh, little random podcast. So if I kept it a bit short, but I just want to get that off my mind. This is me, Bobby Daddy 3, and I'll catch you guys later.